Hi, I'm Dr. Teresa Phillips from Chicago Prophetic Voice, which is now GlobalPropheticVoice.com and Kingdom Global Impact Center in St. Charles, Illinois. Welcome to High Five Live. We are reinstating High Five Live. We're excited about it. We're going to be bringing you some guests. I'm going to be bringing you some great intercessors and some people who, that are from the region that are doing some amazing things. We love to develop and help other people. We have been honored in our ministry alone to put over 200 people in full-time ministry yeah some of those people kind of like use you a little bit to get somewhere but you know what we use Jesus to get everywhere so it doesn't matter we just we love everybody unto life but this series that we're about getting ready to um, embark on is we're going to be talking about the celestial realms of God we're going to be talking about the prophetic glory and how the glory and the prophetic operate together we're going to be talking about the realms of the king why we need to learn to become ambassadors to expand his kingdom I really believe that the kingdom is not something we build, that it is something that we expand. When Jesus spoke in front of Pilate before he was crucified, Pilate yelled at him and he said, Am I a Jew? Are you a king? And Jesus kind of like looked at him, and I'm kind of like giving it to you in my language, hallelujah. But Jesus looked at him and he said, If I were a king of this earth, these people would fight for me. Oh, that spoke volumes to me because we don't fight for each other. We really don't. We will fight against each other, but we don't fight for each other. And I believe if we're going to be ambassadors of the highest realm of the kingdom, we have to learn to fight for each other. We, we may not agree with everything, but that doesn't mean we don't love. We may, not, we may not be in someone else's calling, but that doesn't mean we don't respect where they are. And so in this series that we're about to release to you, we want to, we want to address some of those things. We want to address some of the protocols. We want to address some of the, the realms of the Spirit. We want to um, encourage you to subscribe to Global Prophetic Voice soon, hopefully very soon, uh, we will have a private page in which you can sign into on Global Prophetic Voice, which will have videos that will be only for the subscribers. Only the subscribers will be able to be a part of that, and that will be teaching on different topics with um, private guest speakers. I have a couple of guest speakers in mind in the region that I'm going to bring in that are really walking in apostolic prophetic mandates. We have some people that may be known, some people that are not known, but we believe that every voice must be heard. And so I just want you to go to uh, globalpropheticvoice.com, subscribe today, and get ready for what lies ahead. We're going to be also discussing the Seven Mountain Mandate. My husband's going to be coming on with me as much as possible, and he's going to be talking a lot about the necessity of charity. He has a charity called Be a Hero to a Hero, which we're very happy to be a part of. This is um, a time in which we are reaching out to our veterans locally, and we're getting ready to uh, start assembling 400 stockings for Christmas. So if you can donate for that, that would be wonderful. We will have a button on um global prophetic voice soon if it's not there now there will be one soon that you can donate directly to be a hero to a hero for which we would really appreciate that also we would like very much for you to get into our resources and find out what's there right now we have a colossal sale going on a lot of books that we have had on the shelf for a long time we have we have just dropped those prices we have just dropped those prices to get them into your hands and if you just go to the events section on there you will see sale just go to the sales section in the events and just go ahead and start purchasing. Also the oil, a lot of times we run specials on the on the glory oil. Get that while the special is there because it doesn't last. Last year alone, I think that we sent out over I think it was like five or six thousand bottles of oil. And we're now in 17 countries with the oil. You know, also shift on over to a business called Redeem and Renew Skin Solutions, where the, glo the Glory Oil was the foundation of our skincare line. Uh, Global Prophetic Voice is a distributor of that, so you can really get it cheaper there than you can on the other site. We just want to encourage you. I'm giving you a whole lot in just a few seconds because I want you to get excited about what lies ahead. We are based outside of Chicago. We are excited about what God is doing. We are lifting up our region. We're praying for our region. We're doing outreaches in our city. We're praying. We start again 
in September that we meet at the Colonial Restaurant and we are actually praying for the sick and the infirmed. And the restaurant has welcomed us in and given us a room for the public to come in and pray. How cool is that? And so we've been doing that as outreach as well. And then we're also walking the streets of our city and we're taking prayer requests from the merchants. We're, we're just, we just believe that if you're going to be somewhere, do something for God. Walk out the door every day and say, here am I, God. I am your ambassador. I want to do something for you today. You know, even if it's on the internet, even if you're just talking to somebody on, in, a, in a chat or on Facebook or on Twitter or on the phone, you know, sending a text message, let somebody know how much you appreciate them. We live in a time today where there is so little appreciation. There's so little concern for what other people feel because we've all been cumbered down by our own issues, by our maybe our own illnesses or our own stripes. Or, and, and it, you know, people have come against us. People stand for us. Friends leave us. This, that, whatever. And, you know, families are just being torn apart. Our country's being torn apart. Christianity is being attacked. And we, as the body of Christ, can do something. I tell you, I have a real heart. I have something in my heart. I don't even know how to make it happen. Maybe you can make it happen. Maybe you can, you can talk to me and tell me how to make it happen. But I think it's time for a march on Washington. I think we need to march on Washington and tell Washington, hey, we are Christians and we're not going to take it anymore. I believe that's a necessity. If the whole world can pick it, why can't we? If the whole world can take a stand, why can't we? I think it's time for the church to stop laying down and just get up and be. I know, I know this sounds like I'm just giving you a lot, but I'm just giving you an overview of what's going to be taking place over the next several months. And I want to give you a short prophetic word that we are about to hear a lot about the majesty of God. We're about to hear a lot about the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We are about to hear it, but I want to also give you a word that God gave me about that. Make sure that people who you are listening to have actually met him and they're not parroting somebody else. You can parrot somebody and you can catch the revelation. Hallelujah. But the greatest revelation comes from the book of Revelation and that is chapter 21 where it talks about the celestial palace of God known as heaven. Glory to God. And you know if you read that you'll capture a vision. I want everybody to capture a vision. I want everybody to get excited about the days ahead. But I want us to be prayerful and mindful of those that who are not there, those who have not come up as high as you have, and to know that we have to change our language sometimes to just talk to people, to just talk to people. I just had a lady on Facebook who I don't even know corrected me about a situation. At first I was a little bit ticked off, but then I thought about it, and I went back to her and I apologized and I said, you're absolutely right. You know, there comes a time when if you really want to expand the kingdom of God, that we're just going to have to humble ourselves and be a little bit transparent. I know where all my frailings are. I know what I am. Are we willing to experience that and to tell people, hey, in my weakness, I may look like I'm doing this, but, you know, behind closed doors, I put my head on my pillow at night and I cry, Lord, help me. I cry, Our Father, who happens to be in heaven, hallowed be thy name. I like to pray with Jesus. And I want to also let you know that we're going to be talking to people who are prophetic, who are intercessors, that may have an intercessory prayer over our region, maybe over different er whoa, over different areas of the world, over different areas of our country. I'm, I'm earnestly, earnestly seeking God for the next person that's going to be coming into the White House. I'm earnestly seeking God for the next... Uh, realm of spiritual leaders that will be talking to leaders in, in our country. I am earnestly seeking God to be an ambassador of the highest realm that I can be sent to, to whoever will be willing to hear the message of the king. Yes, I have a mandate. I have a mandate to release the king, but I also have a mandate to talk to you about simple things like maybe sometimes we just need to talk about how maybe we can get fit. Or maybe we can become strong. Or, or maybe it's a bad day and you just need to cry on somebody's shoulder. Hey, there's a shoulder right there. Sometimes we just have to realize that the shoulders of God are there for us. You know, we're not perfect. We're never going to be perfect. If we were, we wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be here. But I just want to encourage you that we have a perfect God who is not up there casting judgment and stones. He is up there releasing conviction and hope.
Because where there's conviction, there's hope of a future. And where there's no conviction, there's no hope of a future. And we need conviction. We need to have our sins exposed to us. Mine get exposed to us, to myself daily. My past is the past. Hallelujah. Today is today and tomorrow is tomorrow. But right now, I have to be honest. I am just a frailing person needing Jesus Christ just as much as the next person. Would you subscribe today to Global Prophetic Voice? Would you support us in any way you can? We are getting ready to go to England, and I have been asked to come to England and release the realm of the king. My goodness, I don't even have the invitations in America, but I've been asked to come to England to release the realm of the king. I'm looking forward to that. Will you please pray for us, my husband and I, as we make this journey across the pond to the land of our forefathers? I'm excited about that possibility. I'm also going to be visiting some of my ancestral places. And so my family, I can just, I'm going to flip them pictures and go, hey, this is where so-and-so was. But I just want to encourage you today. I know it sounds like I'm giving you a lot, and I am, because there's a lot inside of me. But Global Prophetic Voice is upping its game. We're getting ready to do webinars. We are going to, when we get back, hopefully by the end of September, early October, we will be able to start our first webinar on the Monarchy of Heaven. That is the book that I have written. And we will be doing ministerial protocols. I may be having in-house classes, but most likely I'm going to be doing it as a webinar. You will need to subscribe for that. You will need to get that online. And we will give you plenty of time in advance to get your books and your notepads from the site. We will be allowing you to do that, and then you will have them. We know that there are going to be people all over the world that are going to be on the webinar. We have already sent so many books across the world of the monarchy of heaven it has absolutely floored me at the response that people have for such a time as this I just really believe that we're in such a time as this don't you I just I just know it oh God it's just so exciting the days that we're in and the seasons that we're in but God is doing something God is doing amazing things but he's also straightening us up I just I heard the Lord tell me the other day he says Teresa you got garments for you and mantles for you and I said yay God he says but I want you to get fit to wear them and I'm like okay how do I do that so I'm just doing my own exercises the best that I can I'm not perfect I'm not going to be some whatever I just I just know that I spiritually mentally and physically need to be fit for what lies ahead and we're going to have some tidbits about that, about some fitness things, about health things. about I mean, we're going to be hitting all seven mountains to the best of our ability because we believe that the message that Dr. Lance Walnut put out there about the seven mountains, we believe all of us are in that. We have a business called Redeem and Renew Skin Solutions, another business called Global Prophetic Voice. I'm the senior pastor of Praise Ministries Church, which is now Kingdom Global Impact Center. I am the dean of the Christian Seminary. We have accredited courses. We are very busy being about the Father's business because He said, Occupy till He comes. And that means I'm going to occupy even till He comes on the scene. So be encouraged today. Subs go to GlobalPropheticVoice.com and subscribe and be one of our partners and help us get the word out across the world. God bless you. Have a great day and know that you are an ambassador.